Hi guys, I'm Becky, my channel is Whatbeck Sews. Welcome back if you're a subscriber and welcome if you're new. Today I'm going to talk all about the Stitch Festival. So at the weekend, I travelled to the Stitch Festival with the fellow um, Staffordshire Social Bunch. There was only a few of us that went. I had the lovely Jenny from Jenny Sews, Sarah from Sew Sarah Styled, obviously Adele from Sew for Serenity, Ruth, who is seamstress here on Instagram and YouTube, and the lovely Heather. We all ventured over together in convoy, like little school kids on the bus because one of the tube stations were closed, to meet up um, with some other people that we'd arranged to meet whilst we were there. Now, there was a huge amount of us there at the weekend. I am so thankful for everybody that bumped into us and said hello. It was a real genuine pleasure to meet you. But it was really busy and there was, a, it was like they'd literally gone, every vlogger, let's stick you under one roof on Saturday because there was so many of us there on Saturday. Now, I've tried to film this a couple of times and remember to say everybody's names. And to be honest with you, I keep forgetting people, then remembering people and going, oh, um, so I'm just not going to do it. There are people that you know, like the Northern Soul Sisters. There were people like um, Michelle from um, Sewing Bunny, Claire from Stitch Hem Sew. Um, there was the lovely. Angela from Devon Threadtails, Helen from Stitch Rip Repeat, I bumped into Teresa from Lost My Thread, Rachel from French Seams, the menopausal sewer, Michelle, and there were probably more people and I'm going to have forgotten you and it's not intentional and I completely apologise, but they were just a few to name. Um, so <laughs> I'm just not going to bother because I keep getting myself all tongue-tied and then having to restart the vlog because I'm trying to remember everybody, like Cara from So So Mad, for example. Um, so we um, arranged to meet up with the lovely Katie from whatever Katie sews and a few other people um, during the day which was just absolutely lovely. Um, we went to a pub afterwards for a dinner uh, called the Steam Passage which the lovely Katie arranged for all of us um, and we were accompanied there by the lovely Northern Soul Sisters, Angela, Helen, um, obviously Katie, Claire, um, we had Cara from So So Mad, we had Nadia from Stitch and Star by Nadia um, um, and Heather, myself and Adele were all there as well. And it was just a real nice experience. Um, the whole day, lots of shopping, watching all the catwalks, getting all of this inspiration from all of these beautiful people. And of course, having subscribers come and say hello to us, which was just wonderful. I got to meet the lovely Claire, who is the sewing bear. She's actually on YouTube. Um, I will try and link her channel down below for you to go and check her out. She's quite a small channel, so do go over and give her a subscribe and a follow if you can. Um, it was a genuine pleasure to meet Claire and Claire's actually going to send me some fabric that I have been after for a very long time and cannot find online, which I thought was very, very sweet. So um, when that comes through, hopefully for my Friday sews, I will share that with you. Not that I actually need any more fabric. So do you guys want to see what I purchased? So let's start with the simple thing. Now, I did unpack these and pop these into my label. Now, I keep looking because I've tried to film this a couple of times and my other half keeps coming back. I'm in my lunch break and I've not got very long and um, he keeps coming back home and I keep being interrupted. And I'm just like, will you go away? I've tried to film this so many times. Um, so if I keep peering, it's because I'm waiting to stop it because I did actually tell him off and have a go at him and tell him to leave the house and not come back until I've finished filming. <laughs> I know, I'm an evil, horrible human being. Um, so this was the first one I got, which is You Do You. It's a little rosy cheeks. Um, she had another one on there, which was This Took Absolutely Bleeping Ages, um, which is really, really lovely. Um, there was a inspirational one. I quite like the inspirational quotes um, that was Imagine What Else You Can Do, which I thought was really sweet. Being born in 86 and growing up as a 90s kid and being a massive Spice Girls fan, um, swing it, shake it, move it, made it. I had to get that. Just had to. Plus it's pink. I mean, what's not to love about it? And then the final one that I got was Made by Mum, which is perfect because my kids are a little bit older. So Made by Mummy doesn't work. Made by Mum completely works. And they were five packs for £26. Now, I didn't have many in my little tin it did desperately need a uh, refill um so i'm really pleased that i've done that this is the tin that the lovely sally from the staffordshire social bought me and the other girls for galentine's and it's just beautiful so they were the um labels that i got and then i got some fabrics so let's talk about the fabrics 
I hadn't purchased anything by about midday and I really was itching to purchase things. Um, so the first thing that I bought, we went to Rainbow Fabrics and I saw this beautiful um, red and pink um, viscose fabric that's just got this gorgeous sort of abstract design on it. It's got this kind of textured feel behind it. Now I'd seen this on the website. I wasn't 100% sure about it. I will be honest. And then when I saw it in person, I was like, I've got to have that. Now I can see this as some sort of amazing slip dress or just a really lovely co-ord set. I've definitely got summer vibes from this. I mean, it'd make a gorgeous dovestone dress, I think as well. It's just absolutely stunning. I'm so pleased that I've picked this up and I got three meters of this. So that was actually the very first thing that I saw and the very first thing that I purchased. And I also bought, whilst I was at Rainbow Fabrics, four meters of this gorgeous viscose satin with these beautiful pink flowers on. Now there was a bit of a theme to my uh, purchases on this particular day. You see how that color just looks on me? It's just beautiful. Uh, this I bought with the intentions of what I'm doing when I go to Scottish Frocktails. I thought this would make a great dress for there um, because it's kind of got that fancy feeling to it. I thought it'd make a gorgeous sort of Grecian goddess style dress. I don't know if you guys remember or have seen the dress that the lovely Sarah from So Sarah Style made. It's actually a free dress. It would be perfect for So Frugal right now um, by Mood Society. If I can find it, I'll pop a picture in here. But I thought that this would be perfect for that. However, so I bought that from Rainbow Fabrics and then, got it all tangled up, then I went to Stitch Fabrics and they still had this on the stand and it was like a sign. I've been looking at this, it's been in my basket for ages and I was like, I've just got to get it. And this could also potentially be a frock tails dress fabric. I mean, just how stunning is this? Now the pink is a little sheer. So there is an element of that pink that could potentially need to wear a new dress, slip dress underneath. But again, Grecian goddess vibes. Just oh, draping that all over my body is just absolutely stunning. These floral pieces all over it. And it just feels really luxe and fancy. Now, I think they've still got this on the website. So it's definitely worth going over and checking that out. But I did get three meters of that fabric. Keeping with the pink and green theme, because let's face it, I definitely had a pink and green vibe going. This is the viscose fabric that I picked up from Roy's Material World. Now this is blue and green and pink and it's just beautiful. And I can definitely see like a co-ord set in this. I can see an SD in this. I only got two meters of this, so I don't think I've quite got enough fabric to do that as a co-ord set. But there's definitely something beautiful about this fabric. And I really wanted to see some more bright fabrics from him online, bless him, because the week before that I'd seen him, he didn't really have any brights. But again, it's got a gorgeous drape to it um, and can just see this sitting, be lovely sort of coordinated set to make up um, for summer, spring, summer. I really had spring, summer in mind when I was purchasing fabrics at the weekend. The other fabric that I bought was something that was slightly girly. I'd say it's more dainty for me. Um, not I quite like bold, vibrant prints. Whereas this fabric here, which I got from Bornella Fabric, it's very pretty, but it's definitely pretty. It feels more girly to me, but it's this gorgeous crepe fabric. And I tell you something, the quality of this is just beautiful. And the design of these flowers I don't know if you can see that but the design of these flowers they're just so pretty even down to like the colorings in the leaves and it it feels luxe again it's just a gorgeous fabric now there was two and a half meters of this this would be a beautiful dress. Um, there's an Italia jupe dress. It's one of the new releases. I'll pop a picture in here because I can't remember what it's called, but it's like a shirt dress. And I actually think this would be beautiful as that. I think this would look lovely as that. Um, and in my head, that's what I'm thinking sort of as we move into more of the spring, summer months, it'd be great to take away on holiday with me. But then there is a part of me thinking that fabric could potentially be a more autumn-y because it's slightly darker colours. Could I have that as a more of an autumn fabric? 
me know your thoughts down below. It'd be really good to hear what you think. So there are three more fabrics to go. And this was my purchase from Lady McElroy. So Lady McElroy, there was one particular fabric that I went in mind to get. And this was it. Now, Adele bought this from the Sewing for Pleasure show last year, or the Creative Craft show last year. Let's do it, hold it the right way up. And she's popped it as the lining of her Nova coat, and it is absolutely stunning. It works perfectly for a lining. But I fell in love with this then, and I haven't been able to get it out of my head. And every time I see it, I just want to purchase it. So I bit the bullet, I went with this in mind, and I have got in my head this would make a gorgeous bell dress or lowest dress from Tasuti patterns. Um, I'll pop a picture of the patterns as I've talked about them through just so you can see what they are. But I got three metres of it and I just thought this would be perfect. Um, and it'd be a real unique piece because of the print, I think. And I just love the fact that it's got the animal print in there as well as the bright pops of colours. Um, so yeah, I am really pleased with that purchase and I got three metres of it. There was a, in on one of the catwalks, there was a fabric that was showcased by Lupria. I want to say Lupria Sewing. I may have got that wrong over on Instagram. She was wearing a gorgeous dress. And again, pink and green themed, but definitely summer florals. Again, a very pretty, girly, um, delicate fabric. Maybe delicate's the right word that I'm looking for. I, I would never describe myself as delicate. Um, and this is just absolutely beautiful so i picked up three meters of this this is in their one of their newer cotton lawn ranges it's like a very fine cotton it's very different to the um the mari Ma Ma cotton lawn mari cotton lawn i want to say um it was lovely but yeah just very very different i really really like this and it's so lightweight and drapey again this would be a beautiful shirt dress of some kind um but i've got enough there to make one if i want to and the final piece of fabric that I got is um, one that I got with the lovely Adele and the lovely Katie, whatever Katie sews. And I think the intentions are for us to do a collaboration with this, a bit like we did with the one that we did in October. This is um, one of their new fabrics and it's a cotton, um, it's like a sheer sort of style fabric. It's a visco chalet, but it, it can be a bit see-through. So I think this would be gorgeous as a blouse of some sort. It's got this gorgeous lurex running through it. And then it's got all of these pops um, of these shoes on there. And I just absolutely love this. Um, so obviously more to come on this. I don't know when we're going to be doing a collab on it, but we will be at some point. And just so you know that we picked this up, I cannot wait to... Um, make this one up i must admit i'm really looking forward to it and that was it that was my haul from the day that was everything that i purchased now i know that is still quite a significant amount to a purchase but i am so pleased with everything that i've got um the day was fantastic i highly recommend it if you don't like big crowds maybe go on a quieter day thank you to everybody that came up and said hello it was a real genuine pleasure to meet you all um and to all the new people that i met that i've never met before again it was a real genuine pleasure and um just thank you to everybody that gave us your time it was just lovely i had the best day with the best people and of course i got to enjoy another event with one of my best friends so it was just fantastic i'm going to pop some pictures in just of what i did manage to take or what i've pinched from others that they've shared with me um just so you can see a little bit about the day i hope you've enjoyed this vlog if you've got any ideas on what you think i should make please leave them in the comments down below don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed to me it is completely free and that thumbs up take care guys and i'll catch you all on friday for my friday sews bye